Welcome, dear friends, to our time of devotional reflection for Thursday, August the 10th, 2023. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. This year, we are using John MacArthur's uh, devotional book entitled Drawing Near, Daily Readings for a Deeper Faith. And today's entry is entitled Benevolence Without Love. We read from scripture. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. 1 Corinthians 13, verse 3 from the New International Version. Our main thought today, friends, is love is characterized by self-sacrifice but not all self-sacrifice is an act of love. Pastor MacArthur writes, if you've ever donated to your church or another charitable organization out of obligation, peer pressure, legalism, guilt, a desire for recognition, or simply to earn a tax deduction, you know what it means to give without love. In our society, it's easy to fall prey to that kind of giving because the needs are so great and fundraisers appeal to every conceivable motive. In addition, many cults and false religions encourage the giving up of possessions and other sacrificial gestures as a supposed means of earning God's favor. But God is more interested in why you give than what you give. Paul's hypothetical illustration in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 3, is that of someone who sacrificed everything he had to feed the poor. The Greek word translated to feed means to dole out in small quantities. Apparently, this guy didn't simply write out a check for food distribution program. He was personally involved in a long-term systemic program that would eventually consume every resource he had. Paul doesn't mention motives, only that this person lacked love. Consequently, the benefits of his benevolence were limited to the physical realm. Any spiritual benefits were forfeited. Jesus, making a similar point, said, Beware of practicing your righteousness before people to be noticed by them. Otherwise, you have no reward with your Father who is in heaven. That's from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 1. If your motive for giving is to gain the approval of other people to get their accolades, then their accolades are going to be your only reward. That'll be it. If you're motivated by love for God, he will reward you abundantly. Continue reading Matthew, chapter 6, after verse 1, verses 2 to 4. When you give to the Lord, what is your motive? Do you want others to think more highly of you? Do you feel obligated? Those are subtle influences, so be sure to guard your motives carefully. Remember, the only acceptable motive is love. Thank you, dear friends, for spending just a few minutes of your day today listening to this devotional reflection written by John MacArthur. I've taken his suggestions for prayer and for further study, and I've placed them in the description portion of this video so that you can have those to interact with and to deepen your understanding of this principle and help you strengthen your discipleship walk with Christ. Until we are together again tomorrow, to hear tomorrow's devotional reflection, I bid you go in the grace and the peace of Jesus Christ.